Well, hello, Ijoma. The absence of Justice Binta Yako, who's also attending the All Judges Conference, has stalled the trial of IPOB leader Namdi Kano for alleged treasonable felony. This is the second time the leader of the prescribed group, IPOB, will be absent in court after the alleged invasion of his home by the military on September the 14th. But his co defendants and the serving Senator Inaya Baribe, who is one of the three persons standing as charities for the bill granted the IPOB leader, were in court. Kanu's lawyer, Ifanye Jofo, told the judge on October the 17th that Kanu had been missing since soldiers allegedly invaded the IPOB leader's home. The trial will resume on December the 5th. We are I, on the side of the prosecution. We are able, ready to go on with the, the case today. The case adjourned to me. Till the 5th of um, November. Today, we are here in court for the shortest to explain to the court actually where he is. And you are also aware by virtue of what transpired in this court, and last I don't think it being 17th of December, eh, some November, that I don't think that much will happen had it been the court even sit. So because of the fact that um, the court reserved the ruling on our application, asking the military to produce him in court. So and the, until when that ruling is delivered, then we will not know what will happen next in the proceedings. Because uh, when we are saying that the military invaded his house, we supply court, they will supply the court with the material evidence and the documents to show that they actually invaded his house, killed people and arrested him. And at the time they invaded his premises and his home, he was in the house. And they alerted me about the, the onslaught, which I also quickly um, uh, issued a statement to that effect on the 14th day of uh, September 2017. So we have documents to show to the court that, look, this will enter his house on 14th, on 14th of September 2017. And since then, we've not heard from him. We've not, we've not established any form of contact with him. So, and the uh, military, as we are away, they, they came here on a fishing expedition uh, because uh, they were telling the court that on the 14th day of uh, September 2017, that uh, they intercepted a, a, a trolley load of um, arms and ammunition and gave the trolley, the truck a, a hot chase. Eventually ended up in a home they never discovered to be in the kind of home. That is a fairy tale, we told the court. Meanwhile, Senator A. Naya Abaribe is in court seeking an order to compel the Chief of Army Staff to either produce Mr. Namde Kano in court or pay the bail bond attached to his release. The lawmaker filed the application before a federal high court in Abuja and is, among other things, demanding that the Army Chief offset all expenses he incurred in the trial of the leader of the indigenous peoples of Biafra. Senator Abaribe is standing as surety for Mr. Kano, from whom he signed a bail bond of 100 million Nara. On October the 17th, Justice Binta Yako had ordered Senator Baribe and Kanu's other sureties to appear before her and explain why a bench warrant should not be issued against them. What uh, we are conversing in court is that the state cannot, in the words of the lawyers, appropriate and reprobate. The state cannot on its own go ahead to vitiate the uh, bill that we had uh, undertaken and turn around to ask us to come and uh, continue to produce the, uh, the person. And, and uh, our contention is a very simple thing. The state acted in a way that made it impossible for us to do what we had undertaken to do. And we are asking the court to see the facts and circumstances of the case.